And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Sejuani Frostbite. I'm gonna bring this deck back. This was our, our deck that was our favorite deck to play right whenever the uh, Bilgewater expansion came out. Um, I guess it has a better name whoops, than that. Rising Tides. Right whenever Rising Tides came out. Um, yeah, this was a deck that we had a, a ton of success with. And this was our rank up deck for a while. Um, but, you know, the metagame kind of changed and things like that. And, and then it didn't get as good. Like that whenever, you know, Burn became super, super popular, our deck was a little slow against Burn. And that was kind of a, a rough matchup and, uh, you know, which made this deck a little worse. But now aggro is back to being popular, but popular with large aggressive units, you know, Basilis Grider, Darius, um, those kind of things. And so with those kind of things being popular, we can we can handle those with our um, Frostbiting. And so, you know, Frostbiting cards like Darius and and the Basilis Grider and stuff could be really nice. So we're going to be trying this out again. We're going to be playing the full three Flash Freeze now to have those burst speed frostbites that's something that we haven't uh haven't played in the deck before we were playing caught in the cold before but i want the burst speed not the slow and this will also help our leveled up ash because our main our ash is our most important card it's our main win condition it's our card that we um play and uh try to have le you know level it up fast because we have so much flash or because we have so much frostbite and then we kill our opponent because they can't block our stuff that's kind of our our goal of our deck um so i'm i took out the two caught in the colds for the flash freezes i guess our last versions we had one caught in the cold one katarina and so took those out for the flash freezes and then also trimmed one babbling beard for the third flash freeze um and then you know we have like the hearth guard triparian assessor combo to be able to get us a lot of card draw um if we need it Sejuani, like the reason why this deck was called Sejuani Frostbite is because it was right after Rising, it was, you know, like the day that Rising Tides got released. Um, we played it that day. And so it just, Sejuani was the new card. And so that's why I called it Sejuani Frostbite. But it's not really a Sejuani deck. It's an Ash deck, of course. Uh, but then, yeah, our, our core of our deck is kind of our Legion Drummer, Trifarian Glory Seeker, Rhymefang Wolf, like the combination of these cards. Uh, these cards are, are really good. We have the two challengers. Um, that we're either frostbiting their stuff to make these challengers really good, or we can give them a quick attack, make them better. We can also give quick attack to like Ash, so they can't profitably block Ash while we're attacking with Ash. And so, you know, we have that core of our deck. All right, let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Um, yeah, it's possible. It's possible the third flash freeze is, is too many, and then uh, you yeah, know that could go back to being a babbling beard or a culling strike. But I want to I want to first try all the flash freezes and to see how that goes before um, you're making any assumptions that it's too much. Um, these these um, these Noxus decks they have really large units. They're attacking for a bunch, and flash freeze is often a card that I want to be drawing. Helps protect our challengers, helps protect Ash in combat. Yeah, I think I think Icy Yeti is too expensive for the deck. I'd rather have another Sejuani over Icy Yeti. This land is ours. Victory um, requires a sharp blade. We'll just take three. Next turn, like Ash can attack and <clears throat> frostbite the Iron Ballista with the Ash attack. And then challenge again with the Glory Seeker. Oh, I can't wait. I will unite the Frail Yord. Okay, so possible they have transfusion. Like, if they attack with both, that means they're going to have transfusion. Not attacking with both. Push 
that? One out of five. So that'd be two. Okay, just gonna let this happen. I could block and then keep Ash alive with Elixir of Iron, but we're just gonna let that happen. Huh. I'm surprised they didn't go the other way with that. Alright, so goal is survive this turn and kill them on the attack the following turn. Command, General Darius. All right, so no. Attacks. The tall is a mountain and covered in ice. Fight or die. Attacking it with Ash is... No, I haven't really made my meld work. Not done yet. Basically, we just gotta hope they don't have like decimate, because then we win this. We win this our next attack. Oh, I can't wait. Definitely. So we just gotta gotta hope that this isn't a four damage spell. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. But I had to do just a little bit more damage and clear stuff up just a little bit more. This is... Yay! Avarosa, guide me! Yeah, I probably should have killed the saboteur. Not the free one. Kind of... Waffle back and forth on, like, what line to take... For too long. Ended up attacking with with those and kind of hastily challenged something. And yeah, probably should have been the Legion Saboteur to keep me from dying from one of those instead of the 3-1.
Yeah, we won, but yeah, that would that would have been a better play. I did challenge something because I decided that I wanted to have, make room for my other 6-2. Mm. Man, it was so much easy. It was so much better playing against Braum when Braum was an 0-5 <laughs> with Ramping Wolf. Yeah, that was a good game. GG. That was a good game. I liked 05 Braum. That's a good draw. Good card to pump up as well. Um, kind of feel like I save Ice Veil Archer and I don't use Ice Veil Archer right here. Two for two trade. Um, we trade our Brittle Steel and our Wolf for Aristocrat and Auction Fervor. This is where I wish I. I uh, kind of wish my Omen Hawk was dead. <laughs> Previously, but I. I wish we we had the Rhyming Wolf. It is easy, see? Yeah, that's kind of how it is. Yeah, if you're playing, I need just a moment. if you're playing Noxus, you play. Uh, if you play Noxus, you play Crimson Disciple. Basically, I guess. I guess I'm not. I guess this deck isn't, but. Yeah, basically everybody plays Crypt of Disciple. It's just it's such a good card for two mana. What will you have? A mug of your warmest milk, my friend. Not and ready. My arrow won't me. Face me. Let's talk about your dad. Frostbite's good. Yeah, you like Legion Drummer with Overwhelm. That's also pretty sweet. Um. Okay, so they... I'm doing that right here to level up Ash to turn Ash into a 7-5 because I'm worried about Ravenous Flock the, doing the 4 damage to Ash. So I'm worried about that, so I want to level up Ash right away to get above Ravenous Flock. And they had Ravenous Flock. Called it. Come on in. Come on in. Alright, Harsh Winds. Attack. They can't block. And we 
do 23. Hopefully. No. Hmm. I don't have the mana for Ashes Flash Freeze. All right, well. They're still alive. Not dead yet. But they're down to two cards. I got more. We still got this Crystal Arrow, too. We're doing okay. Destination in sight. I'm worried about direct damage done Ash. It was right on my tail. All the world on one arrow. I kind of want them to spend some mana and do, do some other stuff first before they knew about Ash. No. Kills too much of my good stuff. Watch, learn. All right, it's a GG. Who know? A new Freljord will rise. And a new Freljord will rise. GG. Ash, Ash is a cool card. I like playing Ash decks. Just the frostbite mechanic and stuff. It's a pretty fun card. That's just that's a good mechanic. I'm reading her. Hmm. This may be a mulligan all the cards. Glory Seeker is pretty easy to kill, but I guess... Glory Seeker can take out some stuff. I'll keep Glory Seeker. Worst case, it trades with Mystic Shant. I don't I don't know if the um A chill in the air. I don't know if the four three is now solitary monk. I don't know if that's that's now officially a, a three three or not. I don't know if that patch is live. I think that patch is live in like eight minutes. Honestly, so I think it's still a three three for now. I think. I don't mind trading these with Mystic Shots. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm just fine with these trades. These are just crappy three ones. Ten. Order, entropy, a never-ending cycle. The War Mother will 
unite us all. Heimerdinger still being fair as always. My plan is Assessor as my next card. That is my plan. It is, it is. Draw four. Still have Brittle Steel and Elixir of Iron available. I hope, like, worst case scenario is they that they're... Uh, Flash of Brilliance just created like a true shot barrage and they like kill all of my stuff. Like that's the worst case scenario. That's pretty good. I'll do it myself. Our banner will lead the way. I'll cut them apart for glory. You're mine. Face me. You would just attack and not pull anything? Well, then, I mean, you would just let them block how they want or not, you know, like. I think it's better to, to pull than not to pull. I think that only, that only helps them, right? Like, how, how would not pulling, like, if I just attacked out, how would that help us? Because they could... They could then, you know, have like the three two block the four three and have like a one damage removal spell block this, like that kind of stuff. Um. I don't think there's any way that that helps me. Yeah, I wanted to make sure that twin. Yeah, we could still kill Heimerdinger through twin disciplines. Definitely going to need to flash freeze that thing. Yeah, that's why. Why would you attack with a 4-1, by the way? Like, just what's the point of attacking with that? All these free turrets is still going to be really hard to win. So we're at two out of five with Ash. That would be. I can't play Ash and level up Ash right now. 
I can play Ash plus Glory Seeker plus Archer, but that's three spots. We only have room for two. Let's just go this to start with. Kind of make some more decisions. So they, like, have to have, like, Will of Ionia for Sejuani. Like, step number one. That's just game. Alright, GG. We survive. Even B Timerdinger. That's not easy to do. And now we are three and O oh, rolling along. Frostbite's good. Frostbite's still good. <laughs> I didn't even realize you could play Shadow Flare out of combat. Yeah, I don't... I mean, you can cast it out of combat. I don't know if it does anything. Like, would it have done anything? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call, Jeffrey. The getting, getting the 10 damage on turn 4 with the two five ones. That they just they just took because you know they needed to set up their Heimer. You know they didn't play anything turn four to set up Heimer Flash of Brilliance. Um, that was the turning point. Having the three mana Frostbite card to to take down the the ten life steal that uh, Vi would have had. That was certainly quite nice. I'm not sure if I want Ice Veil Archer. I don't think so. Thresh Gangplank Control, that's all about, like, make it rain. I don't think I want that one health unit. I I should maybe be keeping Assessor. It's just a 4-3 Assessor. I always like the 5 power Assessors. Yeah, <laughs> despite your mi misplay of not playing Omenhawk on turn 1. That was a pretty big misplay. <laughs> Didn't have Omenhawk to play turn one. What was I doing? Arr. So since they had Parley, then... Uh, more inclined to play Glory Seeker. I don't think I'm going to, though. This is an important card that can take out, like, a Gangplank. Okay, you can take out a Monkey Idol. That's important. an important job to do. I'll cut them apart. 
So I want the cards I want to draw are oh man lucky are Avaros and Hearthguard and Trifarian Glory Seeker. Those are the cards I want. Stop trying to kill my my Glory Seeker. Did I say I said Glory Seeker for the other one? No, I went. So Avaros and Hearthguard and Trifarian Assessor. That's sorry. All these names are so much. Yes, there we go. Love it. Hearthguard here, and now let's draw Assessors. Love that heart card. Ooh, another hearth guard. That's tough not to play the other hearth guard. But we're gonna play Sejuani this turn. When will they ever fix this bug with hearth guard? Okay, finally killed Glory Seeker, unfortunately. They got lucky, they hit the Glory Seeker. So now we want Trifarian Assessor. That's the card that we want to draw. Trifarian Assessor. That's the one I need. Best hope they'll do, mate. Yeah, Babbling Beard could draw. Trifarian Assessor for us now, yep. Possibly. Possibly. Pass, they probably just don't attack and just pass back. That's probably worth it, though. Then having one of these things die. Assessor. My aim is Not sure what their plan is. But we're going to try to kill them. Don't get to block. Do 
We're attacking for a lot of damage. Fortunately, I have no protection. Well, that was like the best they could have. So they go to three. Still 17. Alright, certainly hoping this draws a sesser. You know, our top card is going to be... If they have Ruination, I'm in just tons of trouble. I, I guess they probably just don't have Ruination, right? Our top card is going to be the Crystal Arrow. Explosive. Unfortunately, the, the last two draws of the Brittle Steels haven't... Those are cards that don't really help. Okay, you don't think that they play Ruination? Oh, well then I would have played a little bit differently. I would have played that Babbling Bjerg earlier. Man, we cannot find... Not attacking. Can't find the assessor. Today we fight as one. I'm gonna get you. Does that last card keep him alive? Does not look like it. Okay, four and no. Let's get it going. All right, five, going for the 5-0. Can we get there? 5-0s are tough. We get a whole lot of 4-1s. But not. 5-0s don't happen all the time. All right, so no patch yet. No patch update yet. It's a good test. This is going to be a tough match. The Noxus Shadow Isles is the number one deck 
in Legends of Runeterra right now. So we gotta, if we want to get a 5-0, we gotta beat the best. I like how we drew Elixir of Iron and Brittle Steel. I think those can be useful tricks at one mana. So I like that we drew those. Okay. Coming in hot. Four two ice fail archer. The Glory Seeker first. I don't want to use the Ice Veil Archer yet. If they want to attack and you know, we trade with uh, Omen Hawk, I'm all fine for that. Yeah, maybe I should be saving Ice Hill Archer for Basil Sprider, but I also want to, you know, I want to pressure. I want to try to race them. I have the best job. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I want to try to race them. You know, Glory Seeker can take out Basil Sprider, just not while it's attacking. Right on. Only the finest serve. All right, so we'll play Assessor. They can block. Axes. I guess if I... Okay, so this is me taking two damage. I could take an additional two damage and keep the 5-4 alive. But I want to take that extra two damage and have a 5-4 instead of a 4-2. Like, a 5-4 is a lot better than a 4-2. I think so... I'm gonna try to draw two again. I want to find I want to find frostbite cards, right? Like I want to find our flash freezes and our and our. Um, you know, we're playing three flash freeze, three harsh winds. That's what I'm looking to draw. You know, things that would keep this and Darius from uh, being able to attack for a bunch. But we did find a Sejuani. Sejuani's nice. Um, but now I get to brittle steal this thing. I think I'm just going to pass and see what they do. No, I'll just go set one. Basically, because if they have like a, a third Bacillus Grider, I'd want to uh, go Sejuani on the other Bacillus Grider because I already had Brittle Steel. Check that. For the Empire. For the glory of Noxus. Fuse is lit! I will unite the Frail Yard. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. All right, this should be game. No one's the wiser. That's not really worth it, is it? Yeah. I need just a moment. I'm going to be brittle stealing the Legion Grenadier so that thing doesn't block. I 
and then attack with Ash. This thing doesn't block. Okay. So that can't block. This attack will mean that can't block, and so they can only have those three things block. And we'll pull two of them over here. And... They only have one thing left they can block. And I have four lethal attackers. And they can block one of them. And I have an elixir of iron to protect. G G. Okay. The Witcher's Claw triumphs! Wanna be the best? You gotta beat the best. We picked up two wins against Noxus. We picked up a win against Vimerdinger. And then two wins against other two decks. So there we go. Sedwani Frostbite coming back. Uh, coming back looking strong. Looking strong. We didn't get to do too much with Legion Drummer, but Glory Seeker looked amazing. You know, whether it was like attacking for five at different times to do a bunch of damage to them for only two mana, um, you know, being a removal spell uh, all the time, you know, pairing with like Icefield Archer and Brittle Steel to be killing things. The Glory Seeker was really big. The Ash was awesome. Um, even just having, you know, having these flash freezes in here was important. Like having that flash freeze for that Vi, whenever they, you know, I had three mana left, one spell mana, two regular, and they ha go Vi and then plus uh, the gain, you know, lifesteal to try to gain 10 when they were at one. Having access to that flash freeze was critical. Um... Yeah, I liked, I liked the changes that we made. I liked having Flash Freeze. Um, I didn't really miss the third Babbling Beer too much. I think that was just fine going down to two to get those Flash Freezes in there. And, uh, yeah, deck looked good. I just like playing Ash decks. This is de this is certainly a deck that I've played a lot of and a deck that I feel like I play very well. I feel like this is a, a deck that um, I know what I'm doing. I, I have a game plan um, and everything like that. I feel like this is, yeah, my kind of deck, certainly. Um, against Kinku Elusives, not that bad. Honestly, probably not that bad against Kinku Elusives because, uh, because you have, like, the Challenger stuff, like your Glory Seeker, Rhyme Fang Wolf, you know, you can, you know, so you can still interact with them. Um, you know, our deck hits pretty hard pretty quickly, and then, you know, usually the, the Elusives, what they do is they make, like, the big Elusive, like, you know, like the 5-5 five, five Lifesteal Elusive or something like that. Um... And our, our deck can kind of handle that with these flash freezes. You know, like they attack with their big elusive, we harsh winds and, you know, frostbite two of them. And then we get to attack back. And so, you know, like we can uh, do that to not die into those elusives. So that's that's a matchup that's not too bad. All right, nice 5 0. Those of y'all watching this video later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments as well. Uh, if you try the deck out yourself, let me know how it goes. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Sejuani Frostbite, and I'll see you for the next video.